to be honest, I don't know why I'm doing this. All I know is that I want to do this, and therefore I will do this. Uh, so, this is Warzone 2100. It is currently a... I guess you could call it, like, half abandoned where half... no longer abandoned where, because it's obviously being continued to be maintained by, you know, people as you can see. Um, <clears throat> I first saw this game at a friend's house when I was 10. The fact that I still remember it, despite that being functionally a demo, should tell you a bit about uh, the impression this game has left on me. So I will be playing through the campaign. Uh, yes. Uh, obviously, it has it is being maintained, and per the maintenance, you are allowed to play through the three different campaigns. I will be starting from campaign one because the other two scare me. Transport destinations follow. Alpha Western Sector. Alpha, you are cleared to take off. Check. Good luck and good luck. Uh... What an amazing base. It's just a base and a factory. The reason why I call it Abandonware is because, to the best of my knowledge, this was originally made for the PlayStation. Which didn't sell that well, because the PlayStation's not really built for... <laughs> Uh, real-time strategy games, you lead team Alpha, but you know, one of three expeditionary worthy teams effort. sent out by the project to recover artifacts from before the collapse. The Your collapse. destination lies in the western zone. Commander, you are to establish a base in this sector. Once the base is established, begin your search for a pre-collapse structure or located in this sector. For some this building is believed to contain advanced neural synapse technology that is vital to the success of the project. <clears throat> also, I am not good at this game. Like, from like an RTS standpoint and from like a just person standpoint. But uh, yeah, here we go. So, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is build a HQ because that gives me access to the minimap and uh, unit designs. Uh, the building, the units currently doing the building are trucks. They, they, they build things. That's all they do. Uh, obviously more trucks build things faster. Completed. Should come as no surprise to anybody. Uh, power station is the, ah, come on guys. Power station is the next building that you kind of need because in this, this game uses essentially like trickling currency, right? So, uh, d d d how do I describe this? Construction completed. Think Civ or no, maybe not Civ. The most recent RTS, I guess that will be StarCraft, right? Think StarCraft, except if a unit is mining, it mines forever. I mean, I, I think you're all smart enough to know how that goes, so. All, what, five of you? Mission timer activated. Oh, mission timers. Briefing commences. Scavenger raiders are approaching our base. Defend the base, then destroy the scavenger camps. Okay. Uh, I remember that uh, demo version I played way back when. Like, your units were balls to the walls powerful, so these guys with guns just, like, didn't do anything. Of course, now they actually uh, are scary to some extent. Uh, yeah, as you can see on the top left corner, you have the unit name, hit points, and then the the experience. Units accrue experience as a kill ship. And then here is the unit design phase, where you can pick a body, pick a propulsion type, pick a turret. We only have one, and the default name is basically the. Uh, the gun, the body, and the wheel. Which makes perfect sense. Let's let's not kid ourselves. Uh, I shall call this the IFB because it is the I don't I don't like just getting the three characters, whatever. 
because it is a infantry fighting vehicle. That is its job. Uh, in previous versions, as far as... I don't know how back, how far back, the first mission did not have a mission timer. So it was considered to be a good idea, quote unquote, to just sit on this mission and build it, build currency, the energy at the at the at the bottom, so that in the later games, in the later stages where the timers do exist, you're not uh, you're not limited by set timer in terms of resources. Anyways, uh, right clicking on a unit gives you this menu which gives you a uh, engagement range. Why would you ever not do long ranges beyond me? Retreating, because units have uh, XP, and then when you recycle them, they recycle their XP. It is a good idea for me, as far as I'm concerned, because I'm a bleeding heart, to keep those units from dying. And then the third is engagement stance. Like, because of the way the AI works, a fire at will is the best idea by virtue of it sometimes not firing at will. Uh, patrol is a patrol. Yep. Dark position means that, uh, you know, if it gets hit, it will chase a little bit and then go back to where it is. Pursue, it'll chase it to the end of the earth and probably die. Hold position, it will hold position and probably not shoot back if it gets shot at. That's kind of what happens. Return for repair, uh, we'll, we'll see this later. Return to HQ, duh, go back there. And then go to transport, if you have a transport, of course. Return for recycling, returns the unit to, you know, scraps the unit for a little bit of money. In exchange, and then the XP gets added to a pool, not a pool, a list. Where the next unit you build inherits that XP. So it's a good idea to, uh, you know, keep guys alive, because it means that your army is better, faster. Anyway, let's go kill some dudes. On one hand, I feel bad about, like, just killing random scavenger dudes with machine guns. On the other hand, their guns are pretty good, so... Alright, let's see here. They also have an oil here. We want it. And uh, red, red health is 50% or below, so he's now leaving. We have killed all the little dudes. Let's go get this green thing, which gives us our research. Hardened machine gun bullets, which increases the amount of damage that our, our IFVs do. We... I need to send a truck up here. Uh, I'll have the first truck go over there. Production completed. Really should have changed the camera panning speed because the the smooth panning it feels nice, but it's really slow. And let's destroy these cars because we need a. Our guys are big and they need room. Yeah, we got, we got big boys. We got big boys. All right. Major research completed. Uh, APDSBMG bullets. I don't know what that is. But it increases our firepower, so that's... that's good. Oh, uh, stop shooting at us. Destroying walls also generate XP, but... The sad part is you're getting shot at, so... not the best idea. Uh, oil derricks by virtue of being, I guess, oil things, will burn for a while after destruction, so that's just a thing. Flamers. Uh, I hate flamers as a weapon type. I just double, I just double tap the, uh, the, I just double tap number one, basically. It's not that. Uh, I have a lot of bad habits from other games, apparently. 
Anyways, a right click and drag is how you change the camera. Double tap or tap or double tapping a group number and then hitting space or I guess no those those are, those are the same things. Major double tap or hitting space changes the camera to follow the units, which is actually pretty cinematic to be honest. I will be spamming that. Just sorry. <laughs> uh, how are we doing? For the record, yes, I can build more factories. Construction completed. Hey, they're coming. Go smush some dudes. I was gonna say, you know, like, props to them to have the balls to come after us, but nobody returns alive, so... They don't know how big we are, or how scary we are. Then again, I guess if nobody comes back alive, that's... Probably a good estimate to what you're up against, so... Uh, anyways, I think I was talking about flamers before I was distracted. But, yes. Um... Flamers... Really short range, really high damage, also burn damage because they set things on fire, and very low hit points. So they are in effect a front range glass cannon in a game without hit scan, which means that the bigger the battle, the lot, the the uh, the sh glass I suppose, and it's it's not great. It's not great to be honest. Ooh, turrets. Heavy machine gun guard tower. Okay. Being able to erect gun towers means that we can, uh... Get some static D. And this is a game that... I don't know if I would say it favors static defense, but it favors digging in. Right, like... Production completed. Having sophisticated defenses is good, and then later on it does give you the tools to deal with such sophisticated defenses in the form of, uh, party. Unit under attack. See what I mean by they don't really shoot back? Major research completed. Alright. So you're up there, I want you to build some MGs over here, you're back at home, I want you to build some MGs over here, no particular reason. There's absolutely no reason why I'm doing this beyond the, you know, beyond the fact that I'm lying, I guess. Alright, so while they're doing that, we will go and explore down here. Hello. And these are flamer turrets. Oh, back, back, back off, back off, back off. Flamers are very powerful against groups of enemies, which we are, right? So, rushing in like that is a little bit unsafe. We'll just ping at them until they die. But yeah, like, high damage, low hit points, but don't collect it. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping. Uh. Use a little more time to get my defenses up, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, cool, so that's mission number one. Uh, we'll be stopping here and then going on to mission number two, where I will, I will shed on flamers somewhere, I don't know. We'll see.